All right, guys, today we are going to learn how to change the energy saver settings on your Toshiba eStudio machine. This is going to work for just about all the eStudio models. Some of the codes and functionality might be a little bit different, but what I'm showing you today is on a Toshiba 2540 or the 40 series line. Copy or copying, take three. <laughs> So if you remember from one of my previous videos, I showed you how to change the energy saver mode by going into the user functions, then going into the admin tab. Again, it asks you for a password. The default password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Then what we're going to do is go to the general icon and then the energy saver icon. You can see we have three different options. We have the weekly timer and that'll allow us to turn on and shut off the machine at different times each day of the week. You can see right here, if we hit change, we can choose which day and what time it turns on and turns off. But what I'm really after this in this particular video is these two buttons here. The auto power save, I like to set it 60 minutes. Uh, that just means that if the machine has not gotten a print job or a copy job or anything, nobody's used it in 60 minutes, it's going to go into an energy saver mode, which is just going to reduce the power. So obviously that's good and we want to keep it at 60, but you can set it to whatever amount of minutes you want. And then the other thing is the sleep and super sleep. I like to set mine at 120 minutes for the sleep timer, which again means if nobody's used the copier in 120 minutes, it's going to go into a low power state. Now. You can set it to whatever you want, 90 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever is beneficial for you and your company. Most of my clients like 120 minutes and I haven't had any complaints about that, so that's where I set mine. Now the super sleep option, you have enable and disable. If you've watched my other videos, I told you that um, I have had a couple clients tell me in the past that when they have this super sleep enabled, occasionally, not every time, but the machine just doesn't wake up from that. So I always disable it. And ever since I started doing that, I haven't had any issues with machines not waking up. So that's what I like to set it at. But then there's another issue. Sometimes, and I've come across this maybe a handful of times over uh, multiple different machines, but occasionally when we go in, let me go back. So when we go into general and we go into energy saver, occasionally those two options, that auto power save that we just looked at and the sleep and super sleep that we just looked at, these buttons are just completely missing. And I don't know why that is. I've tried to format the hard drive, reinstall the software, but for some reason, uh, they just don't show up. And I, maybe there's a code that I'm missing or something that I'm missing on the service manual that, uh, uh, that will allow those buttons to come back, but I just haven't found it yet. So now I'm gonna show you how to change those settings if those buttons aren't there for you to actually press. And in order to do that, we need to go completely out. We can hit the FC button to go back to the main page. We're gonna shut down the machine and we're gonna go into the 08 service mode. So I'm gonna shut it down by pressing and holding the on off. Wait for it to say shut off or shut down in progress. All right, to get started, what you wanna do is make sure the machine is completely shut down. Uh, you can even go as far as to flip the breaker switch on the right-hand side of the machine. Make sure all your lights are off. We're gonna wait a few seconds. We're gonna start it up by pressing zero and eight, holding them down while flipping the breaker switch on. We're gonna to continue to hold those buttons until these buttons light up. Once they light up, you can release. This takes just a few seconds to start up and bring us to the password screen. All right, so we, here we have it. We are at the authentication screen. Again, if you have a service password programmed in your machine, you're gonna have to enter it here. My machine does not have a service password program, so I can just hit okay. So what we wanna do is type, for energy saver, we're gonna type 9111. And that's gonna allow us to tell the machine how long we want it to wait before going into energy saver mode. Then what we wanna do is type 9112, and that's gonna uh, give us the ability to change the sleep mode. So say I want the machine to go into uh, energy saver mode after 60 minutes, which is the setting that I like, and then I want it to go to sleep after 120 minutes, because if nobody's used it after two hours, then hey, let's shut it down a little bit further. Let's save some of that energy 
costs. Once again, I'm going to type one, I'm sorry, 9111, hit enter. Right now it's set to 15, which the 15 setting is for 60 minutes. And I'm going to put up a whole list of, of settings here on the screen here in a second. But 15 is the number that I selected because that it will set it at 60 minutes for the energy saver mode. I'm gonna hit OK. Then I'm gonna go again into 9112. This is the sleep mode. And again, you can see that the setting is set at 15 because that corresponds to 120 minutes, which again is what I like to set my machines at. I'm gonna put up a, another screen for the sleep mode and all the options that you have there as well. So check that out if you want something different than 120 minutes. So that is it. So I'm gonna shut off the machine by pressing and holding the on off button until it says shut down. I'm gonna let it shut down. I'm gonna bring it back up and those energy saving and sleep mode settings should be uh, programmed correctly at that point. So I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.